There's a little yokai called Kodama Nezumi, or small ball mouse. It has the charm of a mouse and the enthusiasm of C4. These little balls of mouse scurry around in the mountain forests of northern Japan. Imagine you're walking in the woods and you see a fat little mouse on the ground and you pet it. It gets worked up and starts inflating like a furry blowfish. It grows bigger and bigger and just when you think its body can't possibly handle it, it doesn't. An explosion rips out of the creature louder than a shotgun, decorating the area and you with adorable mouse guts, blood, and cute little bones. Let this be a lesson, don't hold it in when you need to fart. The explosion doesn't kill you, but it does murder your day. Now dying seems like a poor defense mechanism, something evolution would have discouraged. But that's not why the mouse explodes. The reason has to do with mountain gods. There's an ethnic group of people called the Matagi who live in the mountain areas of northern Japan. They're probably the descendants of the Ainu people of Hokkaido who migrated south long ago. The Matagi worship mountain gods, and these mountain gods like to use animals as tools. Like if a hunter worships the gods enough and the gods are in a good mood, they would send a deer to come eat his arrow. When the gods are in an angry mood, they let humans know by sending them a message written in the language of exploding mice, an ancient language. When hunters hear a mouse detonation, they know it's time to stop hunting and go home. Those who don't receive bad luck. They either won't catch anything, or they'll get injured, or they'll even die, depending on if a mountain god is just a bit annoyed that day, or if his wife left him for that dirty lord of the lake. Some believe that those who ignore the warnings from the gods will get turned into these suicide bomber mice. Now because I like you, here is a legend that involves the Kodama Nezumi. One harsh winter night in the mountains, some hunters took shelter in a wooden hut when they heard a knock at the door. It was a woman, alone, in the cold, begging them to let her in. The men refused. According to their beliefs, the mountains were sacred and women were not allowed on it. They said, go away before the mountain gods get mad, leaving her to brave the cold alone. In another hut on the mountain, a different group of hunters sat out the storm. They also heard a knock at the door. It was a shivering woman in the snow. She begged them to let her in. The hunters knew it was against the sacred rules for a woman to be on the mountain, but she would surely die. So they let her in, making sure to listen for any explosions in the distance. The woman stayed the night. In the morning, the hunters woke up to the sight of the woman not being there. She must have left during the night. The men thought it was weird, but continued hunting. It was an A-plus hunt. They returned with one deer and many smiles. They didn't know it, but the woman was a mountain goddess. Seeing their kindness, she gave the men a good hunt. As for the hunters who told her to scram, they didn't find a deer on their hunt. Instead, they all found themselves turned into Kodama Nezumi for their cruelty. They lived on as mice in perpetual fear of getting exploded while munching on a blade of grass, as a warning from the mountain goddess to humans. For more yokai stuff, check out these videos. We have two new emperors on Patreon this week, Reluctant Artsy and Eren. You're both awesome. We also have some new regular patrons, Carnivalt, Lovely Kitsune, you're very lovely, Ming Yamamoto, and Rich Brasky. Alright, I love you and spread the knowledge.